Hello friends, welcome. Today we are going to take a look at how do we solve the seventh question. So what is the seventh question? So seventh question goes like this. A quad in the figure below, we have a figure given. A quadrilateral ABCD, ABCD is given, is drawn to circumscribe a circle with center O. Circumscribe means the quadrilateral is outside and the circle is inside. In such a way that the sides AB, BC, CD and DA, that is the side AB, BC, CD and D, DA, they touch the circle at points P, Q, R and S respectively. We have to prove that AB plus AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. That is the sum of the opposite sides are equal. I think we actually may have solved this very exact question in one of the videos when we were talking about circles, I believe. I have to go back and check. But anyhow, let's get started with this question. Now, the, the main theorem which is behind this question, this is actually an application of that theorem, is this. So the theorem goes like this. So if you have a circle, if we have a circle with center O, and let's say this point is P, P could be any point, which is an external point outside the circle then we know that we can draw a maximum of two tangents from this external point to the circle. So let's just say that this point is x and this point is y. That is, this is point x and this point is actually y. Now we know that px will be equal to py. That is, the length of the two tangents which are drawn from same external point to the same circle, the lengths of those two tangents are equal. Why? This is a theorem. And like I have been doing in most of these uh, solutions, I will provide the link to the video, the relevant video for those relevant questions in the upper right side of each of these videos. So if you can click it, you will be easily able to, by uh, clicking on it simply, you will be able to take a look at that theorem video as well. Now, so what we are going to do, our approach will be that if you look at line AB, AB is a line that touches the circle at point P. That means AB is tangent to the circle at point P. Similarly, BC is tangent at Q, CD is tangent at R, and DA is tangent at S. So what we are going to do then is, if you take a look at, then we are going to take a look at each of the four vertices of the quadrilateral. So if you look at A, what we will notice is that we can say AS is equal to AP. Now, why is that? This is because both AP and AS are tangents to the circle, right? And so, from the same point, if we draw two tangents, that means these two lengths should be equal. And similarly, we will show that these two lengths are equal, these two lengths are equal, and these two lengths are equal, and then we are going to add them appropriately. So, what do I mean by that? Let's take a look. So, since AB touches the circle with center O at point P, AB is tangent to the circle at point P, correct? Similarly, we know that BC is tangent to the circle at point Q because as we can see, BC is tangent at Q, CD is tangent at R, and DA is tangent at S. So we know this, right? Now, what does this give us? So because AS and AP are tangents, we can say that these two lengths are indeed equal. Why is that? AP and AS are two tangents from the strand from same point A to the same circle. Two tangents are equal or should be equal. We are calling this equation number one. So similarly, what we can show is that if these two are equal, right, then these two will be equal, BP and BQ, right, these will be equal. Similarly, these two will be equal and in the same way, these two lengths will be equal. Now, one thing to just keep in mind is that, so the first one was we wrote it as, as AS, AS equal to AP, right? So this was equation one and these are equation two, three, four. What we are going to do, we are going to simply add them. So we have to show this is equal to this. So one thing to keep in mind is whether which of the sides you're going to keep on the left side and which is going to be on the right side. The way you're going to determine this is, so it doesn't matter which one you take. So for the first one, we have written as AS equals AP. AS equals AP. 
Now, AS is part of which side? Well, it is part of AD. That means this is AD, right? So, we are going to write all the bits that relate to the side, this, on the left side. Now, I could have simply switched it. The point is, whichever way you start, you want to write all the bits in the same side. So, for example, so we have written AS on the left side. So, when we write DS equal to DR, we want to write it as DS equals DR, right? So, DS equals DR. We do not want to write this as DR equal to DS. Now, technically, obviously, they both are the same. DS equals DR, DR equals DS, they are the same. The reason we want to write it this way is that because we are going to add all these four equations, right? So, we want all of them to line up. Right, so you're going to see this in a moment, which is if we add all of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, all these four equations up, then what do we get? We are going to get AS plus DS plus BQ plus CQ. If we would have written it as AS and instead of writing it this way, we would have written it as DR equals DS, then what is AS plus DR? So if I look at AS plus DR, that doesn't really make sense, right? So, I want to write it as AS plus DS. So, similarly, when I want to write this equation, I want to write, because on the left side, I am doing AD plus BC. So, I am going to write BQ equals BP. The way we have written as BQ equals BP. So, DS equals DR. And similarly, CQ equals CR. So, what happens when you add all of them up? Then, they all line up nicely. We get... AS plus DS plus BQ plus CQ as written here equal to AP plus DR plus BP plus CR. We group them AS, DS, BQ, CQ on the left side. Right side we group them as AP, BP plus DR, CR. And if we just you know add them, AS, DS is nothing but AD. Similarly, AD plus BC equals AB plus CD. So this is how we solve the seventh question.